Howdy everyone, WarStarC here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Sea Kings for Nintendo Switch. Sea Kings is a local couch multiplayer game where you play as one of a few selectable pirate ships and shoot cannonballs at each other. You can shoot in any four directions. Unfortunately, it's as simple as that. There are multiple game modes such as varying deathmatches, catching fish, and capture the flag, but in the end it all comes down to that. You can play with four players or with bots. Unfortunately, there's a big problem with that. The bots are unbalanced and don't work properly. They function, yes, but they function too well. What I mean by that is that they cheat. If you haven't spawned where you'll be instantly killed by them, then they will not be hit by almost any of your cannonballs most of the time. I even had player 2 hit them and they just won't die. It doesn't matter what game mode, these bots do not play fair. In deathmatch, you're just dead. Last man standing, dead. Capture the flag, I haven't even been able to get a hold of the flag without being shot immediately because the bots are like a greedy kid. Actually, they're more like a dog with a bone or a rope because as soon as they have it, they will not let go of it. And as for the shooting, almost as soon as they have a shot, they take it, meaning you'll need luck to hit them. I've even brushed up against them and fired at them from point blank range, and the shot still didn't affect them yet they retaliate by instantly killing me. Bots aren't the only problem with this game though. Some of the game modes are ridiculous as well. In Shark Pong, you shoot the shark to make it eat other players, but instead of legitimately catching you to do that, the shark just drags you from any angle from a distance like sucking you in. Besides that, there are two Battle Royale imitation modes. You know, with the circle and all, last man standing wins, which is funny because there already is a last man standing mode. But basically, both the two modes are the exact same thing, just one is a kraken tentacle and the other isn't. Oh, did I mention one of the most annoying things of this game? The pirate voice. You'll be hearing this all of the time. The voice just does not stop talking. Unfortunately, that's pretty much all there is to it. I guess the only positive thing I could say if I did get the bottom of the compliment barrel is at least the controls are okay, I guess. The actual controls I didn't notice any problems with, but besides that, you have a rather bland offline multiplayer only game that is just frustrating to play. Either you find some real friend to play with, which honestly, I don't see why you'd pick this over another couch game or you play against bots that will just destroy you. I mean, I guess it even says in the eShop description, play with three other friends or against a brutally clever AI, but I didn't know that brutally clever meant unfair. At least they have a feedback option in the main menu, which I sent my feedback in, so hopefully they'll actually read it and maybe make fixes or something, or just watch this video, but until then, I don't think it's worth it. If you still want to give this game a try yourself though, it's available on the eShop for $5. I'd like to thank Interactive Stone for sending me a review key. This is Warsarcy on the Game Clips channel, and I'm out.